Hey guys, welcome to iFood Real, Hi. where we help you with healthy and tasty dinner. Super quick. Today we are making Mexican and oh. it is ceviche. Oh. And Alex didn't know what it is. So, what are we making, honey? Uh, ceviche. What is ceviche? Oh my gosh, you did good. You said it good. Ceviche. So anyway, it is super easy to make and you have, if you have been intimidated until now to make ceviche with uh, raw shrimp, don't be. It's super easy and the lime juice cooks, cooks the shrimp, cooks the shrimp. <laughs> But you can use cooked shrimp too, and ceviche is perfect for summer, barbecues, get-togethers, potlucks, family reunions, dinner. It can be for dinner. You can eat it with tortilla chips, you can put it on tostada, or you can put it inside of tacos. And tacos? Tacos. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, enough sure, talking. Yeah. Let's do it. If your shrimp is frozen, put it in a bowl and add enough warm water to cover. Not cold and not hot. Now let shrimp defrost for about 10 minutes. So while shrimp is defrosting, we're going to squeeze lime juice from ice. And to get the most of the juice, you want to uh, uh, roll the limes first and cut them in half. To squeeze the juice, I like to use this lime squeezer. We need about three and a quarter cup of lime juice. After it drain the shrimp and give it a gentle squeeze in the sink, drain the bowl again, just to get rid of the water. So you want your shrimp to be deveined here and tailed off and peeled. And you can save money by buying smaller shrimp. And here is how I cut shrimp. For the ceviche, you want shrimp um, diced, so small pieces of everything land on your tortilla chip and then in your mouth, no big pieces. So cut it in half lengthwise, and I kind of like do another one, and then you dice. Like that. And keep going. Actually, this shrimp is not large, so just cutting it in half is enough. I used larger shrimp and that's when I had to cut it in quarters. So now add diced shrimp to a bowl and we're going to pour lime juice over it. And that's how raw shrimp gets cooked. If you're using raw shrimp, you marinate it for about one, one and a half hours or until it's um, pink and opaque. And if it is uh, cooked shrimp, you just marinate it for 15 minutes to let um, it get the flavor. And you see how shrimp starts to turn white as soon as you put it in acid. So that's why you don't have to worry about eating raw shrimp. Into the fridge it comes. While shrimp is cooking, dice vegetables. Dice the tomato. Now mince the red onion. Chop cilantro. Here's how I like to chop cilantro. I shave it first and then I finally chop the leaf. That way you eat less stem. Minced jalapeno. If you would like your shrimp ceviche to be more spicy, leave some of the ribs and seeds. That's what actually makes um, any dish spicy with jalapeno. Otherwise, clean them out. And after you do this, don't touch your face because your face will burn. Even after you wash your hands for a few hours or even for half a day, your hands will be super, super spicy. <laughs> so I'm removing all the seeds because I 
do it with more seeds last time and it was a little bit too much for us. That depends how Mexican you are, how strong is your inner Mexican. Now dice avocado and a little bit of advice if you're using raw shrimp, you want to dice and add avocado right before searing the ceviche because the avocado does turn brown and you don't want to let it sit for an hour while your shrimp is cooking. So after an hour, hour and a half, remove uh, shrimp from the fridge. And it's perfectly cooked and that's what it looks like. Add shrimp and lime juice to the bowl with um, minced and diced vegetables. Do not drain the lime juice. And stir. This already looks super good and smells delicious. I wish there was a smell bunny. So you stir it gently and I would salt after you do a taste test with your chip because depending on your kind of tortilla chips, how salty they are, uh, you don't want to over salt the ceviche and that is going to be like not very healthy explosion of sodium in your mouth. Now I'm going to add pepper. Let's eat! Welcome back to Alina's kitchen! <laughs> Food real! Um, that was unexpected. Here you go. I'm going. Ladies first. Ladies first. This, is what, this is how they do in Mexico. Ladies first. Mm. You talk. I'll eat. I don't know. Something missing. Are you serious, <laughs> No, it's really, really good. I'm joking. Who <laughs> <laughs> is talking? Mm. Mm. That's really good. This takes me back to all-inclusive resort in Mexico. Una cerveza, por favor. Yes, where is my beer? <laughs> and kids are swimming in a pool, and I am eating ceviche with um, a glass of white wine. <laughs> Why not? Well, that's how you drink white wine. That's what we do in Mexico. <laughs> no, it's really good, guys. This is so good. This is lunch and dinner. No. <laughs> it is <laughs> for me. See, that's the problem. I could do this for lunch and dinner, and man needs more. Ceviche for dinner? Yeah. What's wrong with that? I feel like we should stop talking. Yeah, okay. This is delicious. I hope you guys make it. Yeah. Uh, Canada Day and 4th of July coming, depends where you live. And if you're in Europe or Mexico, just make it. And if you like this video, give us the thumbs up below and subscribe to our food reel right mm -hmm. here. And come back next week for um, next video. Yeah, always. Uh, it's gonna be room. Friday. And it's gonna be, I'll let you in, it's gonna be something Mexican again. Cause I'm Mexican. <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> Bye. 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 Let's We're watch good. it. We're good. We're, we're <laughs> we'll good, just guys. Keep eating. Oh, you're still watching us, okay. Oh.